What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So school's over um, for the semester. So I thought I would kick January off doing a five day sewing marathon per se. So this video is going to go up January 1st. In the next four days of January following today, you'll also get sewing um, vlog, sewing room videos where basically I already pre-picked out seven different fabric and pattern combinations that I'm going to make. This is one of them over the uh, course of five days. So I'm super excited and I want to kind of get straight into this video. So let me introduce to you the first pattern fabric combo because I only have this one is the only one that's already been sewn on. There's another one that I've cut out and pinned on my mannequin that I'll show you and then there's one that I'm gonna give as a Christmas present that needs to be like first priority get it done just in case after this five day little shindig I don't actually end up finishing everything I'll still have that one done so we've got three patterns in the works the other four are just an idea right now so I have all of them right here and I wanted to go ahead and show you all of them because um, I was debating how to present all this information to still make it be interesting. So we'll see how this goes. But let's talk about this look right here. So this look, which there's a full video, Garment of the Week video over this um, pattern, McCall's 8085. I've used it once and done this. There's a Garment of the Week video coming very soon on this, but I loved this pattern so much that I decided to go ahead and use it for this. So this is what it is. It is this bug print pattern, navy blue. This is all the different types of bugs. You've actually might have seen this fabric. I got it at Joanne on Black Friday, which I do have a Black Friday Cyber Monday video of fabric haul video up where you could have seen this it's a stretch like a knit very stretch very soft like a brush knit um navy blue print bug print so i wanted to incorporate um in my notebook i took some of my leftover fabric and went through and cut out each bug that i saw so that way when i look back i can see all the different types of bugs it's about shin length um, it has elastic in the waist, and then it also has this ruffle detail at the hem. So this dress is almost done. I still need to work on the neckline, attach the sleeves, hem the sleeves, and then also hem the ruffle. And then I'll be done with this dress. So this is the only dress that has been worked on so far. The next pattern that I have cut out, oh, here's the pattern if you wanted to see. So this is the pattern. And then I always do this when I have a bunch of projects going on is I cut off a little swatch of the fabric and I go like that. That way it's like super, super easy to identify everything. The next pattern that I've already cut out is this Simplicity 8957. I swear you guys, have probably seen this fabric pattern combo maybe a million times. Um, there's a lot of videos that I've shot before this that haven't gone up yet where I talk about this, but I'm actually going to sew this. So this is the fabric. You might recognize it before from a couple years ago, maybe a year and a couple months ago, I made a jacket out of this which I think could have been on one of my Sunday sew videos, but I had enough left over to make a pant out of it. So I've made this pattern twice before, one for my um, summer brown collection and another one for my garment of the week. So this is a pattern I'm very familiar with, um, but I just loved this print and this color. Um, purple is my favorite color, so I wanted to combine these two. So this is Simplicity. 8957 and I think if I'm not correct pretty much all the views are the same as far as fit wise um but the hem like the cuff of the pant is different and can give you a little bit of flare or a little bit of fit um but as far as the rest of the pant I think they fit about the same so I think I'm doing view C which is this view um but I think this has this has buttons on the side. I'm not putting in the buttons. It's just kind of like a straight leg pant made out of this fabric. 
finally the last pattern that i've already pre-cut which i cut it last night is mccall's 7476 it is this pattern used this pattern before as well all these patterns i've used before that's the beauty of this sewing marathon i'm familiar with the patterns it will be a fast or so where this pattern i haven't done in a while i've still done it before so as soon as i think i, I see it and i read it i will be able to just kind of go for it so i'm doing view b on this actually i'm doing i'm doing view c but with b's length so i think that's actually d <laughs> that was confusing i'm doing view d i had to kind of relook at this pattern so this is view d um it is kind of just like a cardigan but it also has this cool collar detail so it's also here in c but d is longer um so i'm doing that out of this fabric which i hauled in my cyber monday black friday haul this isn't the best image of the fabric but it's basically this um knit jersey fabric that is um super super lightweight and it has this blue lines on it with also um these little animal faces so there's a panda and i think there's a bear and so the like you know you'll see you'll see it later but this is just a little swatch of that fabric um so yeah i cut this one out so those are the three patterns that i've cut out and then the other patterns i'll kind of show you as i go before i start sewing i wanted to show you an up close view of this and in full transparency of vlog we've got stuffing everywhere from that one it's a little bit of a stuffing mess in here here is the pattern that i cut out i just kind of draped it over my pattern boxes of that um fabric that i was telling you about so i got that piled up there and then next to the big pickle i've got this pattern just draped on here so i think what i'm going to start with is this um, I really want to focus on this because it has a huge chunk of it done. This, I don't know, <laughs> pins are always intimidating to start on. So I think I'm going to do the back darts on this and then also pinned to the back. I went ahead and got out another pattern that I'm going to use. I got out all the pieces, so I might go ahead and cut that out too. And then this guy, not sure yet. Um, I definitely kind of want to get it draped on the mannequin. That way I can kind of visualize it and then get started on it. So the pattern that was draped on that mannequin, I thought, you know what? Why not go ahead and cut it off? Cut it out. So I have it here. Now it's not pinned yet. Then I'm also going to cut it, the liner out because I plan on using this fabric for the liner. Okay, this is the lining fabric. I don't have all the pieces on right now. I just got one, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the lining fabric. Okay, so I just cut out this pattern. It is Simplicity 8741. I'm going to do view. It's like ABC. It's basically the same pattern, but different fabrics. Like, for example... B is quilted and A is like a fuzzy jacket. So it's it's all the same look. It's just different fabrics. So um, it's basically a jacket with a cool little flip collar. I've made this twice before. You might have seen it in some other vlogs. Um, but I've never made it with a liner. So I'm going to make it with a liner this time. So this is the liner fabric, which you saw me cutting out. It's this super super silky um it, it kind of feels like a crepe uh de chine or something kind of like a, a sandy texture um a satin crepe you know <laughs> with a sandy texture and then the uh outside fabric is this nice super super smooth velvety fabric a pile fabric um, so I have these two paired together. I was going to use this for a different jacket, um, a while ago, but I didn't have enough fabric. So this is the perfect pattern for it because it only has the front, the back, 
the sleeves and then the upper and under collar, which is just a little tiny pattern piece um, and it's a crop jacket, so it doesn't use that much fabric. So I just cut that out. So now I'm gonna actually get to sewing. <laughs> Bit of an update. I put the darts in the back pant panels. So I've got this dart in, I've got this dart in, and then I'm so, so, so close to finishing this dress. So I just hemmed it. Let me show you. I've got the camera in my hand and the dress in this hand, so we're a little crazy. So I just hemmed it at the bottom. I finished the neckline off and then I also hemmed the sleeves. So I'm gonna put the sleeves on and then I'll show you the full look and then we'll wrap up today's vlog. This garment is done, yay. So I'll talk you through it just briefly since you've seen it. So I went ahead and put the, like I finished the neckline, added the sleeves, put the hem on the sleeves and then put the hem on the ruffle down here. So it's a super, super soft brushed knit. It has, a, I think it's a fourth of an inch elastic in the waistband, making it super stretchy. The fabric's gathered here. And then it's also gathered down at the ruffle. And then let's look at the back real quick. So we got the neckline done back here, center back seam, um, same as the front it's just one giant piece i don't i believe this is cut yes this is cut on a fold but i think there is a the th i think the ruffle is also cut on the fold so there's only a seam at the side seams for the skirt and the ruffle on both sides so yeah that is this look super super pleased with how it turned out i absolutely love this fabric that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know down in the comments below which garment you are the most excited so far for me to finish. Um, other than that, I will talk to you tomorrow.